Hello everyone, welcome to Skynet team, the GSM educational channel. Today we are going to bypass Galaxy S10 Plus FRP log binary 10. Okay, here is a phone. Uh, you can see that is Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus lock state, of course. The customer has forgotten his details, passcodes, or accidentally resetted his device. It's locks. It's a locked account device. See. So, <coughs> see there. Uh, I'm selecting the normal settings here. The usual things we cannot skip. Uh, we'll have to connect the uh, Wi-Fi network, and then the account or password asking for the password some things like that huh? so i have connected the wi-fi and clicked next the phone is checking for details as you can see and from those who are watching from bangladesh just click the wall just ignore the walton the walton remote okay just just ignore it okay uh, so uh, it's a fun thing uh, it's our pride okay so don't just ignore the walton remote here i'm just bypassing the phone okay so here it said use google account access so i'm selecting google account and it's verify my want to verify my account so i don't have any okay so it will not work any account it will need the previous account so i'm using a computer here uh, i'm using the computer to send a command okay i'm using the computer i connected the phone with the cable so i'm using a computer tool okay so let me take you the to the computer screen here just a sec so connect the phone and uh, you should know that the drivers matters install the drivers properly here uh, you can see there is a tool that is easy samsung frp tool bypass okay so i just clicked frp bypass bypass frp it is installing the drivers and to go to the browser so when the command prompts we'll just select view and it will pop up chrome okay select next no thanks and um, here we'll need to search for frp file bypass okay we don't need to add any account we just search for frp bypass uh here is a uh, I'm not a robot thing, you know. It asked for uh, verification if you are a robot or something like that. So just click on verify and bypass the screen here. Uh, I'm putting the link uh, in the de description to f uh, help you guys out. I'm selecting FRP file bypass, just collect. And here you can see there is open setting, open store, so I'm click settings okay i'm clicking settings so go to i'm going to see uh, we're going to see that uh, the android version is late to the latest to the latest and um, so uh, the account there isn't any account we're trying to select the external storage transfer see by selecting this it will automatically download the samsung galaxy store okay let me zoom out it will automatically select uh, it will automatically start downloading the smart switch app okay now you need to wait here till the download complete okay till the download is complete and uh, we are waiting here so so guys please subscribe to my channel i'm very much waiting for the for you guys to subscribe my channel it will encourage me to have one so i'm putting the samsung account here because uh, for samsung uh, account samsung smart we need a samsung account 
to use the samsung smart connect okay so i have uh, putting my samsung account credential uh, so you guys may need to uh, add an account also so create one okay create your samsung account and fill in the details accept i am selecting agree uh, guys remember you need to put a verification code here okay so i am selecting the otp code otp method which uh, is very much optional because i don't have any backup codes right now i'm waiting so this uh, almost takes three minutes or something like that so wait for three minutes and here you go so wait for three minutes and uh, then we will need to put the password uh, 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 otp code that was sent to uh, sent by the sms so after that don't get started click on cancel okay so i have uh, added my account here see the samsung account so i go back and uh, open settings again and check if uh, the samsung smart app has been downloaded or not if you click on the external storage transfer it will pop up automatically so in my case it's not still not downloaded yet i'm just uh, hovering around to see the app has been updated or not so here i'm just clicking on it uh, remember clicking on it will automatically open the app you don't need to download it so see uh, the being uh, the external storage uh, if this doesn't work go back you can go back also you can go back to the option option as well say see the account is added or not so if the account is added go to back go and open uh, galaxy app store from the web page see and the web page will open and it will take you take you to take to galaxy store so here from here we can open the app see the smart switch app app has been started downloaded and started so click on agree click allow from here wait uh, we'll need another phone okay we'll need another phone to back up the data see i have a phone that is also samsung so here i have installed smart switch and i have a previous account that is logged into the phone so i can transfer the account data okay so uh, as you can see the accounts is a login so i will select smart switch i will use a uh, otg uh, and uh, micro cable to connect both phones okay so through usb cable okay uh, through usb cable is better so i'm connecting to the smart uh, smart app with the cable okay so here i have connected the s10 so remember select send data and receive data the receive data to s10 and select galaxy okay select galaxy select cable and select allow and then select allow on the other phone and select receive data okay so this will transfer uh, this will st uh, start the data transfer mm, it will take some time don't select any other settings just uh, unselect the selected and select account okay and then click on transfer this will also select the transfer data this will copy the device and transferring the data of the both phones to the s10 so the copying account data the s10 is copying the previous phone's account data now here you'll need to the you'll need to insert the password okay insert the password of the gmail account i'm inserting my password of the gmail account you can use your password as well and say i click sign in so here the transfer has begun and the account has been added so i have to go to the home screen and the startup process will say again start i'm clicking next the account uh, wi-fi was also added so it's getting ready 
see the account has been added here the account has been added and then it's checking the info just select don't copy okay don't copy and then next account has been added next so it will take some time and don't restore any phone because it will take more times so just click don't restore okay after that go to uh, click next the usual setups don't add any uh, passwords here just next so okay we are done the phone has been password unlocked see it's checking the details also and we are going to the home screen right now done finish so voila we are at the home screen yeah the password as the, uh, the account has been added and the frp has been bypassed so we are going to setting a setting and uh, i am removing all the accounts here because these are my personal accounts uh, you can add it the, you can use the password accounts as well the if you don't then just remove the passwords because uh, i'm here using my personal account if you're using the customer's account that's okay so i have done i have removed them uh, removed signed out of my of those accounts and here we go we have successfully bypassed the samsung s10 plus frp account frp by frpi locked okay thank you for watching assalamu alaikum